Hello, it's me again. Uh, we're gonna go back to the balancing redox reactions. We're gonna do one more example in acidic solution, and then we're gonna see an example in basic solution. Um, so if you got the acid part, you can go ahead and skip uh, to the second half of this video where we're gonna balance a redox reaction and basic solution. So first example, we're gonna take this reaction right here. Ooh, red, I forgot I'd picked that. Hopefully you can see it. And then we'll choose another fancy color for the second reaction. All right, so we've got our overall reaction here. We need to assign oxidation states to everything. So oxygen higher on the list of priority, it's gonna be a minus two, four of them for a total of minus eight. So if we wanna end up with a minus one, that's gotta be a plus seven. Monoatomic ion, oxidation state equal to its charge. Oxygen's here, minus two, three of them for a total of minus six. We need to get to a minus one, so that's a plus five. And here we have an element in its naturally occurring state, zero. So what changed the chlorines in the perchlorate and the chloride ion here going over to the chlorine gas. So we can see in this case, um, we gain two electrons. So this is reduced. And here we lost one electron for each one of those. So that is oxidized. So we're gonna write those half reactions. Uh, let's start out with that Cl minus. I think that's gonna be the easier one. Or it's not plus, sorry. So it's losing an electron. So that's gonna be over here on this side. And we've gotta balance it. We need two chlorides there and two electrons there. We don't have any oxygens or anything like that that we need to worry about. So that reaction right there is good. Now we'll do the next one, the ClO4, aqueous, and let's give ourselves lots of room. I think we're gonna have to add a lot of additional things to this. We've got this right here. Now this one gained two electrons. Everything else is good so far. We've accounted for those electrons. We've got one chlorine on each side, that's good, but I've got four oxygens on the left and three on the right. So we need to balance out those oxygens by adding water. One water will get me that extra oxygen. And then the last thing, again, this is an acidic solution. That's where those H pluses are gonna come in and we need to account for those two H's in that water right there. So, should be balanced now, all the hydrogens, oxygens, everything else should be accounted for. Then we get to add these two reactions together, make sure the electrons are equal. They are two and two, so they're gonna cancel. I don't see anything else that will cancel. So it looks like our overall balanced reaction in um, acidic solution should look like this. And I think, yep, everything should balance. We've got the acid accounted for. Electrons, same number of electrons are being transferred from one side to the other. So here's another example of balancing in acidic solution. And the problem specifically tells me that. That's not something that you're gonna have to guess and figure out which one it is that you need to do. Um, let's try a nice light purple here. So now we're gonna try to balance in basic solution. So here, we'll write that right here. So specifically, they tell us, balance the following react, uh, redox reactions in basic solution. And we have MnO4 minus plus bromide ions that goes to MnO2, which is a solid and 
bromate right there, polyatomic ion. Good. Signing oxidation states. Oxygens are minus two for a minus eight. So that's a plus seven, gets us to the overall minus one. Minus one, here the oxygens are minus two, so the manganate is a plus four. Minus two, and the bromide here is a plus five. Yep, all right, so what changed? The manganate ion, or atom here changes. The oxygen stay the same. The bromine here also changes. So the manganate goes from a plus seven to a plus four. It becomes less positive. So it had to gain three electrons and it was reduced. And the bromide went from a minus one to a plus five. So it lost six electrons and was oxidized. So let's start with one of these. Let's start with the bromate or the bromine containing. Reaction, uh, reaction here. Um, again, we're going to leave a lot of room because we're going to balance this in basic solution, and it's very possible we're going to have to add a lot of things, adding waters, hydrogens, and OHs. So, um, and oh, in this case, we lost six electrons, so there they are right there. All right, bromines balance, one Br on each side. That's good, but we've got those three oxygens, so I'm going to have to add three waters to this side to balance those out. I've got now six hydrogens that I have to account for. I'm gonna add them here. If we were balancing an acidic solution, we would be done, but we're balancing in basic solution. So what we have to do is bat or neutralize all those H pluses with OHs, six H pluses, six OH minuses. And of course, we have to obey the law of conservation of mass, so since I added that many OHs to the right, I've got to add that many to the left. You'll notice, what do six H plus and six OHs become? Six H2Os. Um, so here, let's just erase those now and rewrite those six H2Os in the equation. So another note, important thing to note now, I have three waters on the left and six on the right. I can actually cancel out three of those. I can get rid of all the ones on the left and keep just three here on the right. Um, it becomes redundant to have three on one side and six on the other. So I can simplify that to something like that. Now, if we look at it, should balance. I've got, yep, six uh, oxygen, six hydrogens, there's electrons, everything. So this is what that half reaction should look like, balanced in a neutral, or not neutral, in a basic solution. Now we're gonna do the second reaction, MnO4. And same thing, we're gonna give ourselves a lot of room. We're gonna use the other manganese containing part right there, and it gains three electrons. So we'll add them here. Same thing, manganese is balanced. We've got the oxygens, but I've got four, or not oxygens, electrons, but I've got four oxygens on the left and only two on the right. So we're gonna add two waters to help balance that. Now we've got to account for those hydrogens. So that's going to be four H pluses. And we're in basic solution. So now I neutralize all those hydrogens and I add that many OHs over to this side as well. You'll notice four H plus four OH is four waters. So let's just delete that and turn it into four H2Os. Uh, everything should be balanced. So I've got four waters on the left, two on the right. So those two can cancel two of those. Same way, let's simplify it. Let's get rid of those redundant waters on the right and have just two here on the left. So this should be this reaction balanced in basic solution. Let's see, four, six, yep. Um, so now we've got to add them together and to add them together again, the electrons have to match. So you notice we have six on the top, three on the bottom. So we actually are gonna to need to multiply this entire reaction here um, on the bottom by two, and that's gonna get our electrons to match. And there we go. So we can add them, they're gonna cancel. Looks like our final reaction balanced in basic solution should look like this. And, oh, sorry. Other things we could cancel, my bad. Water's here, boom. Uh, or not that, sorry, the four, 
right here. So we have one left here that cancels with those three there. And actually these six OHs cancel. And now we're down to two OHs. So that makes everything a lot simpler as well. So one H2O and we've accounted for, yep, all the components on the left. Let's make sure it matches. Eight, nine oxygens, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine oxygens. And one, two, and two. Yep, looks good. So that is the balanced redox reaction in basic solution. And you can tell right there because of those OHs being present. Um, so a little bit more work than the acid. Um, this is a, a nice example because it actually involves a lot of things, a lot of canceling and stuff like that, which you may not always see, um, but it is good to, to know and be aware of how to do this. Why do we do this? Well, when you hear about alkaline batteries, this is why those alkaline batteries are in a, a basic paste, essentially. So if you start looking through the voltaic cells and the battery chapters, you're going to see what does it mean if you have an acid battery or an alkaline battery. And that's why we balance these half reactions in acidic solution or alkaline solution. So here's an example of both. Um, you had the little intro before as well. So hopefully this is helpful. Again, work a lot of those problems. It looks like probably problems uh, 37 through 42 in your book are gonna involve a lot of those half reaction uh, balancing. So uh, this is the end of the balancing videos. Enjoy. I'll see you in the next video with the, um, the standard cell potentials. Uh, and otherwise you'll see Dr. Donnelly and Dr. Baudelaire. Have a good day. Uh, peace and all those happy things, et cetera, et cetera.